Hello, I'm Carol Henderson, President of the Alberta Teachers Association. I appreciate you taking a few minutes of your time today to hear about the state of education in Alberta and the recent offer for a provincial framework agreement received from government. Colleagues, the past few months have been trying for teachers and for public education in Alberta. Since tripartite discussions between the ATA, government, and the Alberta School Boards Association broke down in December, a number of troubling messages and indicators emerged that signaled the instability that could lie ahead. The government of Alberta, largely because of choices they made, has become mired in financial difficulty for which there is no quick or easy escape. The 2013 provincial budget reduces funding for school boards by $14.5 million. This despite the fact that we will have 11,000 new students in our schools this fall. Boards will have difficult choices to make and we anticipate cuts that will have dramatic effects on our classrooms. Your association is concerned and so we have launched a province-wide publicity campaign to dramatize the impacts that these cuts could have on our schools. Amid the government cries of poverty, the minister directly interfered with local bargaining, which made it difficult for your teacher representatives to settle with their school boards. The minister believes that local bargaining is broken, and he was convinced that a provincial solution was needed to bring about labor peace. His insistence on reviewing local agreements created a direct chill on bargaining that made settlements impossible to reach. He was also clear that imposing legislated settlements on teachers was a real possibility and we know that he was moving in that direction. Such a move would not bring about labor peace and would actually generate greater instability for students, for teachers and for public education. Fighting imposed settlements would have required swift, unpopular, unpleasant and potentially divisive action from teachers. We believe that teachers were not interested in taking on such a fight at this time. Similar situations have been absolutely dreadful for teachers in BC and Ontario. Faced with these challenges, your Provincial Executive Council sought to make smart, principled decisions about how to support and protect the interests of teachers. We looked for solutions that would include meaningful improvements to the work life of teachers and that would offer stability for teacher employment over the course of any long-term agreement. On November 30th last year, we presented a settlement offer that demonstrated our position on salary and our commitment to achieving improvements to teachers' conditions of practice. Although this was a very reasonable offer, it was rejected by government. On February 20th, the minister presented another offer to PEC, but it was decisively rejected because it did not contain any meaningful solutions to teachers' professional concerns and it did not offer employment stability for teachers. On March 13th, the situation improved when we received an offer from Premier Redford that contained significant improvements from their last position. PEC considered this offer carefully and decided to recommend it to teachers for ratification. As always, teachers will have the final say on whether this offer is accepted. In the weeks ahead, if it has not already occurred, you will be asked to attend a bargaining unit general meeting in your local area to vote on this offer. I encourage you to take some time to familiarize yourself with the agreement and to attend the meeting to have your say. Colleagues, I trust that you will take some time to familiarize yourself with this offer and the benefits it provides for you and your profession, notwithstanding our concern with three zeros. Complete details can be found on our website at www.teachers.ab.ca. Your local will let you know when the bargaining unit general meeting will be held for teachers in your school division. If the agreement is accepted, your local economic policy committee will negotiate with your board under this framework to reach a local collective agreement. You will be asked again later to consider that agreement and vote on its acceptance. Please take time to attend these important meetings. These are important matters for all teachers and we value your opinion and involvement. 
Thank you for your time.